So let's look at titration errors and rinsing. The rule of thumb is whatever you want to measure something with, that has to be rinsed with what goes in it. So a pipette is going to measure an accurate amount. So that needs to be rinsed with the stuff that's going to go in the pipette. Likewise, a burette. This guy, again, is being used to measure something. So whatever you're going to put into the burette, you need to first of all rinse the burette with. That's pretty straightforward. But what if you stuff it up and what if you rinse it with the wrong thing? What can happen to your end calculated result? Well, to do that, I'm going to explain it with a diagram. There's no hard and fast rule about what happens when you rinse it wrongly. You need to follow through the effect of that rinsing on your calculations. So let's have a look at this one here um, where I've got 0.1 molar of something in my burette. If that's the case, and if I don't rinse my burette with what goes in it, instead I rinse my burette with water, what that's going to do is it's going to mean my concentration of what's in my burette is lower than it actually is. What that means is I need to use more of it to react my stuff that I'm putting in from my pipette. So what that means is by putting more in, it makes me look like I have more stuff in my pipette, so my, for my calculated answer is above what it actually should be. So that's what happened in this scenario. However, each scenario is different. What if I accidentally rinsed my pipette incorrectly? Okay, if I rinse my pipette incorrectly, that means I transfer less stuff into my conical flask. Okay, so therefore I would use less to react it with. And in my calculation, it would appear that I had less stuff initially. With rinsing errors, you need to follow it through. And you need to follow it through really slowly. Draw a little diagram and say, what would happen if I rinsed this with water instead of my 1.1 molar? Again, I say that decreases in concentration, so I need to increase the amount I use. So therefore, it looks like I have more over here. Each scenario will be different. So therefore, when you've got a question that involves rinsing and what would happen, you need to follow it through on a case-by-case -case basis. Hopefully that helps.